All right, what's up guys? So today let's talk about something that a lot of people ask about and it's like, hey John, what mag pouch do you use for your rifle? All right, so my rifle mags or rifle mag pouches vary quite a bit. It depends on what I'm trying to set my belt up to do. Now, this is belt mounted pouches. We're not talking about chest rigs or, or plate carrier pouches. Not to say you couldn't use any of those for it. You probably could. Um, but those are specific for belts, so we're going to stick to belts right now. Now, with, with the amount of belts that I test out quite often, um, I, I end up using a lot of different mag pouches because I like to play around with them. I like to see what works, what doesn't, and also because sometimes I'll rediscover something I liked before and then stopped liking, and then maybe like it again. Who knows? So, let's start out with one of the pouches that I've used for years, and that is the s tax right the kiwis um now the the kiwi pouches uh have have what are like it's cordura wrapped you have to use some kind of molly clip of some sort they do have other options now like velcro and stuff like that which you can use or one wrap um which i've used one wrap which works i think a little bit better for these in my opinion um but depends on what you're going to mount it onto and then on the inside they have like their kydex insert which is actually adjustable that a lot of people don't know you could pull it out uh, trim it and then put it back in. I used to do that with the handgun versions. Now the AR version of it is nice because it it will retain really well on the majority of mags. Actually, there we go. Now it's all the way in. On the majority of different mags, it'll retain them really, really well. The downside to these that I've found over the years is that this stays open very easy. Now it does crush, right? The 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 top portion crushes, but the bottom portion does not which means that if I lay on my side on an empty pouch, which ends up happening every once in a while, um, it's, it's giving me like this weird bump on my hips. Not a big deal, but if I have to sit there or fall down on it, shit hurts, man. So just be aware like that there's just some limitations to it in that case. Now, because they make the molly on the front end, you can do a lot with that um, by putting little tools like handcuff keys, um, like chem lights, you can do a lot of stuff. You could also attach another one on top of it. Not that I suggest that, especially depending on your body uh, type, because then you're stacking two AR mags next to each other and causing a really, uh, like the weight to be farther apart. Um, I don't prefer doing it that way personally, but up to you, right? Your, your belt, your choice, right? Now, uh, this pouch I used for <laughs> a long time. Um, I deployed with one. I really enjoyed it. I thought it did a really good job in all those different environments um, between Georgia's, you know, swampy ass back back countries um, and also the desert. So pretty cool. Uh, something to think about the Kiwi s -Tac. Awesome pouch in my opinion. Then we go to another pouch that I use for quite often um, was the, the good old Blue Force Gear 10 speeds. Now they have different ones now, which are really nice, but this is just a standard 10 speed. So I used to fold it in and under and then loop it inside so that I can make a belt loop out of it. And I used to keep those on there. Um, I liked these a lot when I first got them. And then the problem is they start to deteriorate with this elastic over time, which no big deal. Like anything else, they fall apart at some point and you have to replace them. But what I did find uh, that I really liked about these is when I extracted a mag and I laid down on it, it flattened out. So what ended up happening is it felt like I didn't have a pouch on. It was awesome. So nice, nice spot to have it and, and really usable in that sense. What I didn't like was trying to put a, a, a mag back in if needed. So if I was doing attack reload and I didn't have the time to, to drop this into a pouch, I had to like shove it into a pocket or something. Not a big deal. That's kind of like a range practice thing, um, but also could be something you do in an operational setting. So just something to be aware of, like it's harder to put them in. What I used to do is take an index finger on the top and then slide my index finger in before the pouch. I'm sorry, before the mag. And then that way I can slide the pouch in there. So I would lead it with my index finger. That way I can, I can insert it back into the, the actual pouch a lot easier. So that may help you if you like the 10 speed pouches. I do like these as spare mags that end up on my cummerbund for my plate carriers. So some people like to do that. I like to do it on, on a couple sides. I also like to do it on the inside of my plate carrier. So if I do have 
uh, a snack pouch on the outside, I can still have magazines on the inside against my body there. Um, just realize that that gets uncomfortable if you're doing it for a long duration of time without getting used to it. So something to try out there is the 10 speeds from Blue Force Gear. Then we have another one that I used for quite often, or a uh, pretty long time too, uh, was the G-Code Scorpions when they came out, the soft ones, not the Kydex ones. I didn't like those um, with the, the felty stuff on the inside. I thought those were stupid um, personally, but to each their own, right? But the G-Code Scorpions, the soft versions, I thought were really cool, really smart design. Um, they took an idea from the tacos. Uh, if you've ever seen the tacos, the HSGI ones, those are good too, but I don't like how sharp they are. Like these little corners are super sharp. So if you come down really hard, you'll scrape the shit out of your hand. Uh, not something I'm looking for. Uh, also on metal mags, you'll scrape the shit out of your hand too, by the way. But um, what I did like about the G-Code ones is these things held your mags really, really well uh, because they, they use that rubbery material that retains your mags uh, super nice. But pulling it out was kind of a chore because of the way that it retained it. So something I would do is actually pull away so it would open up the pouch a little bit and then pull the, pull the mag out. So something to think about there if you're using these. Um, what I do like about these a lot, and, and I don't have the mag with me, but they'll hold 308 mags as well as 556 mags with zero adjustment, which is really convenient. Um, I do like that feature a lot. Uh, hence why I keep these on a tech lock so I could just shove them on a on a belt and use them uh, If I want to separately from a, a whole belt system So if I'm doing like PRS stuff and I don't have my whole belt rig cool I'll just put this on and clip it on and then I have a mag pouch that I can I can tech lock onto any belt or anything I really want to so just something to think about there tech locks do screw into these um, so it's kind of nice because they do use a, uh, a different kind of mounting surface so I'm able to still get three screws in there based off of the way the te tech lock has this layout of screws. So super useful. I think it's a great, great mag pouch. Now, a lot of these, I did take the little shock cord adjustment off and just knot it and then cut it and then burn it because I found the adjustment level that I needed. Never really had to change it for anything, including 308 to 556 size mags. So I, I just went ahead and, and just left it be. So a lot of mine are cut so this is removed it's tied off and cut and burned and that way i don't have to uh have this dingle dangly tail and this piece this actual adjustment actually digs into my leg a lot um when like seated or moving around or doing some awkward position stuff so just be aware that that's something that you can do uh just realize that if you need adjustment you're not gonna be able to so just something else or different about those now last pouch we'll talk about is my newest and favorite jam currently and this kind of like mixes almost a little bit of all of these uh, together into one. Now this is the Defense Mechanisms Mag Pouch and I find this one to be uh, my favorite overall, right? Very slick, nothing to catch on, nothing sharp on the mag. Um, it is for 5.56 only, I can't fit 308 mags in here so that's a downside. Uh, it works off of using its own proprietary style one wrap that is, you know, not it doesn't have Velcro on the top end, so it doesn't eat at your shirt. Um, it's actually smooth on top, which is kind of nice. That was a really smart design by them over at Defense Mechanisms. And they made it really, really slick and simple. So I could attach this to a normal belt, or I could attach to a actual battle belt, or a uh, over the top belt, like an outer inner belt. Uh, any of the molly ones, you don't need to molly it. You can just put it over the whole belt and it has Velcro to stick to the inner belt still. So it's actually really, really useful in that sense. Um, so I really like this, this pouch a lot. I like how it retains mags, but it also, because it has some elastic, it can fit your phone, depending on your phone size, things like that. Um, the one thing it won't fit is like 308 mags. It's just not wide enough for it. Uh, no big deal. I mean, if you're doing a lot of that, the G-Code one will fit that bill. But what I like about this is once I, I get the mag out of there, this will compress all the way down without giving me any issues. So it compresses completely. And putting the mag back in or going back to putting the mag back in, I can actually dig it in there really easy compared to the Blue Force Gear one that flattens out really good. 
but I can't get the mags back in without doing that weird index finger thing, which works, but still. The defense mechanisms one is, is definitely my favorite. One of the other things you can do with these, which I really like, is you'll see there's this opening right here. So if you did need to, right, you could go ahead and attach pouches sideways, or if you wanted to hook a big carabiner on here, and now you have a carabiner that can hang off the same area for like your gloves or whatever, um, gas masks, things like that. So the defense mechanisms pouches, they do have a lot of little features that I, I don't think a lot of people notice. Um, they have little sections here for drainage, so don't worry about that, where the, the um, Blue Force Gear one doesn't, so it just soaks in there and stays for the most part until the whole, the whole pouch dries. Um, I know I've been in water with these and really, really benefited from the drainage holes. Um, let's see, between all of them, this is still my, my favorite, and you can put a bungee retention on here. They do have a hole on the back end that you can add some bungee retention if you wanted to, where some of these mag pouches don't allow it, but two of them are like that G-Code one, and also the, uh, the original S-TAC one. Both of them retain really well, so you don't really need a bungee, but at the same time, you have some options, guys. So just some options there of mag pouches I've used over the years. There's are four kinds that I played with. Um, I did have a taco once upon a time from HSGI, but like I said, it was sharp. I didn't like it. I gave it to somebody. Um, and, and over time, I've, I've kind of really tried to slimline everything I'm doing. That's why the de defense mechanism ones has become my favorite. But to each their own, right? So those are some of the features on the mag pouches that I use and I like and I've used over the years. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them below, guys, and, uh, and let me know what you're using, man. Uh, I may not have tried all the pouches, so... Let me know.